from Washington, this is VOA News. An attack on an Al-Qaeda location is, has occurred in the pre-dawn hours in Somalia. I'm Vincent Bruce reporting from Washington. A United States Navy SEAL team has targeted the senior leader of the Al-Qaeda-linked militant group Al-Shabaab in a daring pre-dawn raid in Barawi, Somalia. But officials say no militant was captured in the raid. It's also being reported that the SEAL team was forced to withdraw. Sources told VOA a top al-Qaeda militant working with al-Shabaab was the target of the attack, but did not name him. The raid was in response to an attack on a shopping mall two weeks ago in neighboring Kenya. Al-Shabaab, a militant Islamist group, has claimed responsibility for that action, which killed at least 67 people. The mission, first reported by the New York Times, marks the boldest strike on the Somali soil since U.S. commandos killed Saleh Ali Salehnaban, an al-Qaeda mastermind near the same town four years ago. A Kenyan military spokesman has confirmed The names of four men he says took part in last month's deadly Islamist militant attack on the shopping mall in Kenya. Major Emmanuel Chirchir says the attackers were were all killed in the raid. Also, U.S. officials say American forces have captured an al-Qaeda leader facing federal charges for the 1998 bombings of the U.S. embassies in Kenya and tens Tanzania. Officials say the suspect was captured alive Saturday near Tripoli in a joint operation by a, by a U.S. military force and intelligence operatives. Scores of people have died in a string of attacks across Iraq. In Baghdad Saturday, a suicide bomber killed nearly 50 Shiite pilgrims who were on their way to a prominent Shiite shrine. Earlier in the day, 12 people were killed when a suicide bomber donated, excuse me, detonated explosives inside a cafe in Balad, 80 kilometers north of the capital. Separatist rebels, separatist rebels in northern Mali say they are returning to peace talks with the government about a week after they walked out of negotiations. Members of a U.N. Security Council delegation visiting the Democratic Republic of Congo say they have have reassuring signs from the government that it wants a positive outcome to talks with M23 rebels in the east. Kinshasa also expressed its commitment to implementing a regional peace, security, and cooperation agreement with its neighbors. VOA United Nations correspondent Margaret Bashir has more from the Congolese capital. Ambassadors from the 15-Nation Council met with President Joseph Kabila and a wide array of ministers on Saturday. British Ambassador Mark Lyle Grant said the delegation's discussions with Congolese officials centered on the talks in Kampala, Uganda, between the DRC and M23 rebels. The message that we heard from everyone Commitments made in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, under the Regional Peace and Security Framework, and internal reforms. They felt they were well advanced, and indeed more advanced than some of the neighboring countries, on fulfilling their commitments under the wider peace framework agreement. France's Deputy Ambassador Alexis Lamex said Congolese authorities signaled that a political solution is within reach in Kampala. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, Kinshasa. A partial U.S. government shutdown now nears a sixth day, and President Barack Obama and congressional Republicans are trading accusations, restating demands, with no resolution for, for restarting federal operations in obvious sight. VOA's Michael Bowman reports from Washington. In his weekly address Saturday, President Obama once again blasted Republican lawmakers I won't pay a ransom in exchange. for placing partisan conditions on funding the government and raising the federal borrowing limit. And I certainly won't pay a ransom in exchange for raising the debt ceiling. 
Later in the day, that is not leadership. The Republican leader of the House of Representatives, Eric Cantor, criticized the president's refusal to negotiate while the government remains closed. It is that attitude, that unwillingness to sit down and talk to us that has brought about this shutdown. It is unclear when or how the dispute that caused the shutdown will be resolved. Michael Bowman, VOA News, the Capitol. The U.S. House of Representatives Saturday unanimously passed a bill that would guarantee wages to federal workers laid off during the government shutdown. U.S. President Obama says U.S. intelligence estimates show Iran is a year or more away from building a nuclear weapon. In an interview with the Associated Press, Mr. Obama acknowledged that U.S. estimates are more conservative than those of Israel. All the latest at VOANews.com. I'm Vincent Brew.